What's the takeaway here? Tim Ryan's campaign is floundering. He's a liar. He's a cheater. He's deceitful. He's lying about you. He's lying about Ohio. He would be no different than a type of senator. I won't say he would be as bad as Bernie Sanders, but he would definitely be as bad as, you know, we could go through the list of every one of these senators of 87,000 new IRS agents, open borders, all that stuff. Kind of a sister senator, a brother senator to Elizabeth Warren type, kind of of that of that kind of ilk, right? Is that fair to say? Yeah, I think that's exactly uh, totally fair to say, Charlie. And this whole thing that Tim Ryan is trying to do where he he pretends that somehow the National Democratic Party has abandoned him. Tim Ryan has raised close to $60 million to put television advertisements lying about me, lying about my record, lying about his own record. I think the only guy who's raised more money than him from National Democrats is John Fetterman, who, of course, can barely string a sentence together. We saw that last night. So it's really preposterous that Tim Ryan is trying to claim that they that he's sort of been abandoned by the National Democratic Party. It, it, it's just not true, Charlie. There's, there's nothing, there's no ounce of truth to it. Now, here's the really crazy thing here. Tim Ryan says that he's not a culture warrior. And I, I think it's an important point to make, Charlie. We don't just want to stand for the economic interests of normal Americans. That's, of course, important. We want to protect people's jobs from China. We want to get this inflation under control so that normal people can afford to go to the grocery store, can afford to go to the gas pump. But we also want to stand for the values of normal Americans. That's exactly right. You know, Tim Ryan does things like he he voted for the Equality Act. Let's talk about what the Equality Act does. It actually would force the government— to strip funding for free and reduced school lunch funding if a rural Ohio school district didn't bend the knee to Joe Biden on the transgender issue. He's voted to prevent doctors from providing care to babies who survive botched abortion. So even as he says on the one hand, I'm not a culture warrior, his actual record is that he faults, fights the culture warrior aggressively. He just fights it for the wrong team. And I think the fact that he's trying to run away from that is pretty preposterous. Now, let me just say one more thing, Charlie, about this whole idea that he wants to make Democrats the, the, the party of non-college educated people. Well, I, I'm sorry to say, Tim, that ship sailed uh, a long time ago. And in your particular race, if you want to attract non-college educated voters to your cause, why don't you not call me a racist for daring to believe that we should have border security in this country? That is not a value that non-college educated working class voters actually support. They know that a wide open southern border hurts them more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. So don't call me and everybody else a racist for wanting to secure that border. And if you do, don't expect working class voters to plot you. They know you're a phony. They know you're a fraud. And they know you don't have their interests at heart.